What all is this about here, Keith? Do you know? United Way? I think it's United Way kickoff. If you give to United Way in your local community, these are some of the organizations here in town that receive donations from United Way. It's all a good thing. Pick up the coin toss. Can you tell who's doing what on the coin toss? Yeah, we'll be able to see here in a minute. Thank you very much. Thank you, United Way. That's our captains out there, number 19, Corey Beaver, number 76, Lyle Estes, and number 32, Kyle's Longstorff. Who looks like he's healthy tonight. Cheerleaders are throwing footballs out all over the place. There's the coin flip right there. They're showing it to Bexley. Another one. Huh? Another one of to the toss. They deferred to the second half. Hey, well, how can you see read lips from that far? The man's good. The man's good. The man's real good. London's going to receive. No, London's going to receive. Bexley's, Bexley's going to kick. Hello, Red Raider fans, and welcome to another Red Raider contest. This is Gary McNeil, Keith Smith, and Carl King coming to you from Bowl Stadium, WLHS, Channel 25. <laughs> what do you think, Carl? That tonight we got uh, London Barty uh, going against, uh, and I just messed up real good against, against Bexley. And we're looking for a good game. London come out last week and had a rude awakening with the loss of 31 to nothing. We're looking at a little better take tonight. Carl, um, Keith, can you tell me anything about what we expect tonight for Bexley? Well, Bexley got off to a good start last week. They won 20 to 8 against Canal Winchester. Uh, last year, Bexley beat London 35 21. Um, London's always played Bexley tough, but just never, you know, for the last six years, they haven't been able to get a win. Um, this could be the fastest team that London's seen all season. Uh, as far as that goes, uh, Jake Karsten, their leading passer from last year, threw for 1,500 yards passing, 15 touchdowns, is back again this year. He's, hel he's healthy tonight. He got a little banged up in week one. He had a good week one. I'm looking forward to a good ball game. Uh, positive for the Red Raiders last week. Marcus Redman with 108 yards rushing. Uh, basically all in the second half. So that's a real positive thing for the Red Raiders. And I think it's going to be a good ball game. Okay, hey, I tell you what, I see the band coming out on the field, Carl. So if you want to take us uh, down to the field, and then we'll just continue our little discussion here. I look at the camera, not look at the monitor. That's hard to do, man. Yeah. The monitor right there, you're like, go for it. Chicken sandwiches were great.
get ready to rumble. We still got 12 minutes, don't we? Before the game starts. So we'll just pick up a little bit of the band here. Breeze Carl's hands off. We got a nice cool breeze coming in here. Now it says recording again. Yep. Goes Bexley. Bexley team decides to enter the field. Once again, we cut it short when the band came out, and we had a little bit of pregame there. But uh, like I say, I got Keith with me. He'll be with me all football season. I've got Carl King on camera. He's entering his. Uh, Good Lord, I, I hate to think of how many years he's been doing it. It's really Red good. Raiders. And the London Red Raiders enter the tunnel, led by... It's like a healthy Kyle Longsdorf. That's a good thing. A healthy Kyle Longsdorf. Well, they, were, they, they were led in by Kyle, weren't they? Number 32. And, and 19, Corey Beaver. And Corey Beaver, yeah. The uh, you know, Red Raiders took one on the 10 last week against Green, and I think we're going to find out that's a pretty decent Green and football team. The uh, Tonight against Bexley, it seems like we've always played them tough. We just, the past six years, we really haven't had any chance to win and win any ball games as far as that goes. The last time we won was in 1999. Against Bexley? Yes. Really? Well, yeah, that goes back because it's been that time, that long since we've had Coach a really productive team. Coach came over to the crowd, dude. Trying to get him fired up, yeah. Yep. That's my man. What'd you call him? <laughs> Coach Dennis. Dennis. Huh? Yeah, Dennis the Menace. <laughs> Well, I heard that. uh, that's the new one, and when the coach goes over and yeah, and uh, yeah. gets working on the crowd, that's good. I hope Bexley. Bexley got off to a really good start against Canal Winchester. Their quarterback Karsten was uh, he was nine for eleven with 105 yards passing and a touchdown before he went down with a with a uh, sore shoulder. Bexley's always uh, got a good pro good program. And they always play London, Jelly Roll Jam. London's going to receive, like we said. Deep for London is who, Keith? Looks like uh, three, Wolverton and Redmond. 
Redmond will be number 34. This kicker's pretty good. Watch him in warm-ups. He's got the wind to his back. Got too. good hang time. Clear down to the end zone. Ball's in the end zone. And yeah, you can't, you can't run it out. High school rule, you can't run it out of the end zone, so automatically comes out to the 20-yard line. I don't like that rule. He wanted to run it he out. Was, he was headed that way. It looked like to me almost put up a fair catch signal, too, but once it passes the plane in the end zone, that's it. All right. So Lunner's going to take over first time, first and 10 on the 20-yard line. And uh, I think you may hear some of Bexley's people in there. I got guys got a little voice on You can hear him. Well, Red Raiders going to start out again with, uh, looks like Rogers at center. Your guards are going to be, uh, it looks like Hellman and Mabe and White and Myers will be your tackle. First play hand off the Redmond right up the middle. And he's got some room and he's going to pick up good yardage there all the way to the 35 yard line about a, how much, Keith? 20? Like about 36 oh. yard line, about 16. Yeah, 36. Yards. That was a huge hole, though. Probably Beautiful up hole. There by Sam White and Zach Hellman. We were, are we running the same offensive lineup? I'll give them here in a minute. Yeah, it's, just, it's all the same. No huddle. Yep. Let him come out with no huddle, and Redmond had a knee down, so he's going to be. May, might pick up a half a yard. Uh, we have a Redmond, number 34, in the backfield, along with Bobo, uh, Beaver. And uh, Kyle Lonsdorf. And on the line we have uh, I'll give them to you here in just a minute. Oh, we got timeout by the officials. On the line we have Swisher and Myers. We did have a change on the offensive line, didn't we? Did 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 Mabe still on the offensive line? Yep. Yeah, okay. Still on there. And Mabe. Rogers is center. And caught in the backfield is who? That was Bobo for about a four-yard loss here. Nice play by number 50, Matt Loy for the Bexley Blue Lions. Is it Blue Lions or Lions? I think it's just Lions, right? Yeah, Lions, yeah. And to finish out your offensive line is uh, 69 Hellman, 68 White, and uh, 18 Reggie Wilson. Reggie Wilson be running normally at a wide out. He goes wide to the top of your screen. Third and 13. Good call, Carl. Definitely more of a spread package than what we saw last week. Ooh, uh, too much good. time to develop there. Is that an end of round? Yeah, I think I think Bobo or Beaver went out rolling out the pass looking for Bobo out there, but the defense pocket just collapsed on him too quick. Who was the ball carrier, Keith? Beaver. Beaver, okay. Yeah, never got a chance. So London looks like they're going to go three and out the first tri trip. Well, they did get one first down there, that first run by Redmond. First was run, first though, down. was exciting. Good snap. Mm, that was close. close to being blocked. Out of bounds at about the 44-yard line. As Bexley will take over first and 10, we're in the first quarter. 9.58 left in the first quarter. No score as of yet. I hear the six, um, Bexley team, the Lions are a pretty explosive offense, so uh, how many points did they score last week, Carl, you know, or King? Or not, I'm Four sorry. 20 last week, but the thing is, is the last season, you know, with Karsten at the helm, I mean, they really had put up some big numbers a couple times. I mean, of course, they beat Africa, got 55 against Afton Centric, 35 against London, 48 against... Man, look at the spread offense. Wow. They are spread, aren't they? That's really bunched. Wide out, man in motion. Quarterback rolls to left. Got a passing quarterback, huh? Man, we got one and one defender out there on him. And yeah, he did a good job. He was freed out there. But not to after about a six-yard uh, gain there. Go ahead, Key. Well, London's switching up a little bit. They started out last week in a three-man down, uh, three linemen down situation. Now they're going to go four down. Uh, I don't know if that was a move to try to counter the Bexley the Bexley offense, but you know when you got a, a senior quarterback who's had a lot of experience in Karsten running a spread like this, he's going to be hard to stop. Hunter's running like a six-four. Oh, ball football. was tipped. That could have been easily picked off, but uh, it's going to be make it third and two. 
to hit somebody's helmet, didn't it? I think Swisher got his hand up there, it kind of looked like. I couldn't tell. On defense, we got uh, deep for London, it would be Longsdorf. In the back second line, we got uh, Warburton, Eastep, Bobo, and Johnson. And on yeah, it the, doesn't matter. And you doesn't have to call him Johnson, but I will <laughs> call him Johnson. I don't care what you say. He was Mr. Johnson last week, man. Yeah, yeah, he was tough. And I'll give you the rest of them here in just a moment, uh, the front line. Come on, let's hold him. Third and about three here for the Lions. Put a man loose. His quarterback must be the star. He's got a good, oh, and it's dropped pass, incomplete. Incomplete pass to number 31. Johnson was on that. Uh, Chris Beck. And to finish off that uh, defensive line, we got, like I said, Freak and Swisher, White, Estes, Daniels, and uh, Long. That's your front line for the defensive as of right now. There you go. Looks like Wolverton's going to go back for the Red Raiders, and looks like Freak's going to join him now. And Beckley joined us in the. Uh oh. He had to get around the. Uh, Nice Referee to get the punt off. Wolverton, yeah. oh, oh. Oh. come on. Wolverton's going to get about a six or eight yard return. So London will start out on the 17 yard line, first and 10. Yeah, Bexley went uh, three and out also. They returned the favor of the three and out. They got a first down, didn't they? No. No. They get no. one? No. They were. Red Raiders played pretty good defense there. It no, scares me a little bit because uh, there was a couple times they looked wide open. But... Beaver to pass. Ooh, tip. And it's caught looks off like the tip. Reggie Wilson kind of looked like he grabbed out one hand. hand one hand Reggie. That's what they called him. One hand Reggie. That's that old basketball catch there. <laughs> Uh, by the way, we didn't go three and out, did we? Didn't we make a first down yeah, in the first play? First I, my bad. I said three and out. And I, he corrected you. Did he? Okay. He didn't let you get away with uh, that, that was that was really for no pickup there. I mean, we'll give them a, we'll give them both a yard. So it's gonna bring up second nine. Quick hand off to Redmond. Come on, Redmond. And he's drive, he's drive, driving. Drive. Woo! He's gonna be close to a first down, but maybe a yard short. Yeah, he's gonna be about five yards short, Gary. Look where we at. Get your spectacles on, Gary. <laughs> hey, the line, uh, Terry, you're going to have to get the lines a little bit uh, brighter. In the field. Yeah, those lines are worn out from the rain. So that's going to make a third and five. The Raiders bring two receivers to the top of your screen. Another hand off the Redmond up, side, up front, and uh, nope. nothing doing here. Looks like he's going to be about a yard short. Ball was on the 23. He took, moved it up to the 27. Wow. Fourth and one. This is a decision here. That ain't no decision. What oh, is it, Carl? You're going to punt. Okay. Fourth and, punt. fourth and one. Yeah. Absolutely. Here comes the punt team now. You got to punt. Of course, now they're going to have to take a timeout, looks like. Looks like London's going to have to take a timeout. Didn't have the punt team ready. I'm going to tell you what, you have to punt. I wouldn't punt. You're crazy. I'd give them six or, or I'd get the extra point. If you punt extra. into the wind, you're probably only going to net 20 I, yards. So I don't know. I mean, it's, it, we can argue about this if you want. We can There's fight no about argument. it if you want. You Carl? pick the book, the book says you punt. <laughs> oh, now we're going by the book. Last week. <laughs> yeah, make something up good. <laughs> Oh, speaking of good, we got good trivia in the second half. Oh, my Lord. And this one here, you're, I'm going to see smoke coming out of Gary's ears trying to think up the answers. I know that. You'll make something up. No, I went and researched this at the library. Wow. I'll still make something up. Bye. And I found a couple good ones. Does it have anything to do with football, Pete? Absolutely. Oh, okay. And Bexley comes back on the field. We're ready for our... The punt. The punt. The punt. Mr. King overruled me. He's going into a pretty strong win, so absolutely don't gonna... punt. Got to try to hit a low liner. Fake it, London. Hey, fake it. Bexley don't have anybody back. Yeah, that's fine. That's fake it, London. One. Okay, now we go. You got a punt. You better not fake. You better punt the ball. Go try to draw him offside. No. Short. Oh, good. Good high. punt. Good Fair high. Pass. Hang time. Caught on about the. 41-yard line, he called for a fair catch. He had room to run. 
42. Ball was caught by number 11, uh, Jake Kasten. Seth White. Number 11. Okay. You got underlined the wrong man there for me. My spotter kind of threw me off there. You have spotters? Don't yeah. try it. Don't try it. Lennon goes back on defense. We held him there last time. Time for the big hold. Come on, Lennon, let's have some fun out there. And we got a flag in the deep end. Uh oh. Broke the huddle with 12 men. Yep. Illegal. See? Huh? That's the reason you punt. Field position. Use the other man. team, right? Illegal Here we go. Is that in the book too? First and fifteen. I hate when that happens. <laughs> that you're right. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, field position will be real important for the Red Raiders tonight. Field position is everything. Is except Beck score. This is Bexley offense is gonna be explosive and they're, they're quick. You can't, can't get no easy touchdowns now. Why not? <laughs> now no spread here, just a base power eye package. Carston under center. Kirk Handoff, he takes it wide to the outside and right, London right, stuffs him and right. we got a gang tackle. That was a gaggle that time. That's what we're talking about. That was by law Humphrey on the carry there for Bexley. He was, he's, he's been a leading rusher. Either we're looking a lot better tonight or Northeastern was a lot better. Well, we, uh, we made some adjustments. But it's early. We made some green. adjustments, so, man. Okay. Is that in the book? Yeah, you got to make some adjustments. Uh, I want to see this book he's got. It's a good book. I know that's right, the good book. Here he comes. Boy, he's got lots of blocks. Yeah, he's got. Him. He had a a good crackle by a number 32. Longsdor. Longsdor. Boy, he had a he had a student body rider. Mm-hmm. Have a pulling guard there. Wow. He had a student body and, and half of the Bexley community with him there. That was laid out real good. It's going to be first and 10 on the 40 yard line. We got. That's the London 40 yard line. Wait a minute, Carl's Somebody's talking. Somebody's got to get out there and string that play out. They can't. Okay, you're string done. String it to the sideline. Okay, Carl. You're done. Carl's done. We can talk. You <laughs> thought he was going to say something important. Uh -huh. It is important. Got number one in motion there. That's uh, Pratt. Come on, come on, come on. Wow, big hole there. Oh, big Lord, hole. trouble. Touchdown, Bexley. By law, Humphrey. By law, Humphrey goes all the way. That's a pretty good one. How big is that boy? 205, 61, 205. That's a pretty good size fullback. They got fullback on theirs. That's the first time I've seen a fullback for a long time. So that makes the score with six minutes and 34 seconds to go. One to nothing. Now last week, Bexley twice uh, against Canal Winchester went for two on their first two touchdowns. But this kicker did kick. The well, look at this spread. Oh, they're going to move in. Yeah, they went, they went for two two times last week. In their first two possessions, they didn't kick. And it looks good. So that makes it one touchdown and one extra point to nothing. Seven zip. 6.34 left in the first quarter. Bexley takes the lead. How's the crowd looking tonight, Carl? We got a pretty good uh, turnout tonight. It may not be as many as last week, but it's a good-looking crowd. Good-looking? What's your name, Carl? Oh. <laughs> that, there we go. You're done, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, Bexley last year did. They put up the points, man. 55, 35, 27, 38, 35. I mean, so, you know, this, this offense is led by a former Ohio State quarterback, Greg Fry. Greg Fry. He calls the plays on the offense, and apparently he must know what he's doing. I think he plays for Earl Bruce, doesn't he? Brucey. Mr. Earl Bruce to you. Excellent kickoff. Now, remember, he's got the wind to his uh -oh. back here. What's going on here? Yeah, so he probably... Well, it's going to go out of bounds. Out of bounds. Uh, yeah, that's... He wasn't going to let it. It's going to go. Oh, 
Now, the Red Raiders get a choice of where it went out of bounds, or does it got to go to the 35? And where it went out of bounds. Did it make it to the 35? It didn't make it to the 35. So, I guess, apparently, it's not a... It's going to be a re-kick? No, we get it there. Man, we should, but I don't know the rule. Yeah, we'll get it there. They didn't, I didn't see it. Wait a minute, Keith. Carl, Carl was talking, Keith. Go ahead, Carl. <laughs> He's not talking. What's Go a, ahead. What's the book that I say about that? <sighs> Leonard's going to take over first and ten on about the what? 35 yard line? Where's the ball go to on the. If you accepted the penalty, they'd kick over, I would guess. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. Move it back five yards. Right. Probably. Well, I don't know about that strategy there. I mean, you got the wind to your back with the kid with the strong leg. Yeah. Well, you know, he kicked the last one in the end zone. Yeah. That was kind of weird. Yes, it was. What are you coaches. talking about, weird? Oh, you mean the kickoff, the first kickoff? Yeah, well, I mean, you kick the first one in the end zone. What's the point of it? First hand off the red, Redmond, and the play was brought down by Pratt. See, Redmond. Stuff like that lose a game for you. Second and ten. That was a mental error, man. Just not thinking. That's not in the book, that's, right? That's a mental error. <laughs> I got a feeling it was going for an onside kick. It's raining, Carl. Why? It is? Yeah. I felt some water just hit me in it. You come on. If he spit it, it hit me right in the eye. Again for a loss of one. They had pretty good success on their first two plays from scrimmage. Didn't do that no more. You did you did you spit on me? No, I didn't spit. I think he just spit on me. I know I need a bath, but you know. Now I'm, now I'm spotted. <laughs> Lennon wide out, two wide outs to the top of your screen. I just felt water again. Beaver. Screen, he's oh, and the beaver drops. Or, I mean, let me go. Drops the pass. Nice play there by number seven, Jamie D. Rame. That pass was off of his fingertips, so I. Yeah, he'd, uh, he'd have lost yards if he'd have caught it. So. Mm -hmm. That makes it uh, fourth and 11. Hey, Red, that screen, man. Yeah, it's kind of what they call time. a throwback screen. You kind of act like you're going to go right, and then you try to throw it back to the left. It didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't work. Not this time. So London's in punt formation. Back to you punt. Want to fake it again? Nope, not this time. That made me mad. No, it's fourth and 11. You got two guys back this time. Wolverton to kick. That's another decent punt. Going to take, and they, they decide to return this one. Okay. Uh, they they take up about four <laughs> yards. Nice tackle there by number 84 for the Red Raiders. How long? Down After field. about a four yard return there. One reason I probably get why is that thing up there. I kind of like, with that bar across there, kind of throws you off. Okay. I'm about to get used to that. You know what I mean? I think I do. Got five minutes and 18 seconds to go here in the first quarter. I can take that out of there. Yeah, better <laughs> have know what's going on. I'll get, I'll get used to it. Columbus Bexley versus London. Bexley put a man in a choppy motion. That's by law, Humphrey again. And Humphrey's on the turn. He made the turn. Looks like he might have picked up a first down. Tell you what, last week against against uh, Canal Winchester, he was had 14 carries carries for 70 yards and a touchdown. He also caught a 54-yard touchdown pass. Wow. He's he's ob obviously their go-to man. Don't tell me it ain't raining. Look at here. He can do it all. That's from last week. Mm. I just see one umbrella. Everybody out there. Yeah, it, it's it's trying to. You watch. He's got a hurricane coming. Uh, sit on the window. Starting to spot Another the window. First down for Bexley there. They've got three on the night. It's Karsten out of the power eye to Bylaw Humphrey. Bylaw, he's just picking his holes and going through there like a, looking like a freight train for London. Bobo, yeah. Bobo. Ryan Bobo, he's a senior. Six foot, 195 pounder. Put a little plug in here for Pee Wee football. We had our first week of practices. Ho, ho, hold it, hold it, hold it. It's Carl's turn. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm dead. 
Okay, I, I'm just kidding. We'll get, Lions here. we'll get that plug for. We'll get that Pee Wee football here in just a minute. Humphrey again, or is that his I name? Oh, I love Humphrey. He's driving. That's a that's a scrum out there. I'd say he's close to the first down. I'd say he's got it. Yep, first down, Bexley. Wolverton in on that tackle that time for London. I'll give Maves a little plug too here too. He's uh, going out of his way to uh, give us all the books that we need or that we want. Can't read them yet, but can't figure them out. But we will. Carl read it. Yeah, yeah, the book. We got some pretty good uh, outfits down here too. We get a chance, Carl. Get like four them drawers up. I know. Bexley's going to have to take a time out here, a little unsure what to do, but Antoine Pratt went in motion, and I don't think Barston liked it. So anyway, back to Pee Wee football. Since we were talking about that. Go ahead. We had our first week practice this week. Uh, seems like the numbers are pretty good, uh, but we will want to encourage any young, uh, either boys or girls, from grades four through six, uh, if you're interested in playing, we will take a few sign-ups yet at Mabe's department store if you want to get signed up. So. Even though we started, we'll, we'll still take stragglers if they still haven't registered yet. Translation in English, we'd like to have your bodies out there for Little League football. PB League can use you, and it's just going to be a builder for this program. I think the varsity football coach is maybe going to show his face a few times, and you'll get to know him and know a little bit about his program. And, uh, yes, we are experiencing some raindrops. And it must be rain falling on my head that I'm glad it wasn't spit. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Boy, you know what? They seemed like they had, they didn't have a lot of success with the first, you know, you can run that spread right from the get-go, but London's seen it now. Quarterback that rolls out to the bottom of your screen. He's going to keep the ball. He had a bank. A wide open field there. Oh, man. He's going to take it all the way down to the, about the 20, that's the two, 23 yard line. That's a kid that had to leave the game last week with a sore shoulder, and he's our star quarterback. You'd think they'd try to be a little careful with him, but it doesn't seem like he was running full speed out there, wasn't he? What do you mean, be careful with him? Oh, well, you don't want him to get hurt. For them? Yeah. Well, I mean, you think. Yeah, this game is this ball. game is not a careful game. You gotta get out there and bang it up. High formation. Tight end and receiver to the top of your screen. That's by law, Humphrey. By law. Place a nice tackle there. Couldn't see that. Looked like uh, maybe 74 getting up off the bottom. I think that's Caleb Sexton. We haven't seen him out there so far. He's a sophomore. 290 pounds, 6'3". 6'3", junior, 290 pounds, Caleb Sexton. I don't think he played in week one. Brings up second and six, balls on, mm, on the 20-yard line. Brothers, Gary, yep. Yeah. What you going to do? We're, we're, keep, one we're going to keep playing. Right we'll bring up second and six for the Blue Lions, or Lions. I know. Humphrey. And it was Come a, on, Keith. That was Humphrey. It was a gaggle on that tackle. Bobo. They keep trying to run on that inside, tackle. But he uh, he showed pretty good speed going to the outside. Yeah. I think he's an all-around runner there from looks from what I've seen so far. Just give him the ball and let him do his thing. Keep running up the I don't see any, up for that any bad clouds. Which where's the rain coming from? This is off along the quarter. Here. Yeah, we're down to a minute 35 to go in the first quarter here. Bexley versus London. 7 nothing Bexley. Bexley's on top. Yeah. And we, we got, got a whistle. Delay, man. That was long. It took too long. Let's just go. Hey, here you go. Okay. Did I tell you it took too long? Car yep. Hey, that was Carl was talking. You always know it's delay because you see the flag thrown by which official on the field? The back. I don't know. Yeah, the back, back judge. judge. Yeah, yeah, he's right. That changes the field goal or anything. I was going to say the guy that had a back. 
Go back, Judge. Now, back to the football game. Oh, Shrain's not going to let us see out the window too good. And we got another flag, something on the interior. I think it's a legal procedure against Bexley. Third and ten. Going to make it third and what? Third and fifteen. Well, we had a uh, group of Red Raiders fans out there with the. I suppose it had Raiders painted on their chest. I don't, know what happened to them. I don't think we're showing anything on the camera yet as far as ring. Probably put the coach back on. Now we got third and 15 for the Lions from the 29 yard line. And the Red Raiders 29. Now we're going back to the spread. Here we go. They're going for a long ball. And Humphrey D drops it. He was Kyle, Kyle Longsdorf out there on coverage. Incomplete pass. That was he, he had the ball was in his hands. He just dropped it. Yep. Should have had that one. Fourth and fifteen. What are we gonna do here? We should be going for this. I would I'm go for it, I would imagine. This. Well, Unless they got a field goal kicker. He made one from forty-two last week. Yeah. He's out there to do it. This is a 46 yard with the win, though. I mean, think about that. Seth White. Runs is going to put Wolverton back as a deep safety. 46 with the win. Oh, blocked. Get on the ball. Looks like Kyle Long's on the block, and London recovers. And London locks the punt, or the extra point. It was an extra point. Three point try. Field goal. I'll get it right here in a minute. I'm so excited. I don't know what to do. London's going up with the ball on a 40-yard line. He didn't even kick it, did he? He, he did. Oh, Kyle Longsworth. Yeah, he took it right off his yeah. toe. Kyle did. Oh, nice okay. rush in. I didn't see. He must come in from the top side of your screen there. I didn't quite watch, see. I watched the replay on that. Look how he just ran for a stop. Is the camera getting wet from the side or anything? Red Raiders take over. Just under a minute to go here in the first quarter. Nothing doing right there. Looked like, was that Redmond trying to run inside? Maybe picked up one yard. Yep, Redmond, your ball carrier. This Redmond's going to get a lot of reps this year. He's only a sophomore. He said it wasn't going to rain. I never said that. Keys? I said it wasn't going to get cold. It's already cold. Lied on both accounts. Mm-hmm. Down in 20 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Come on now. Redmond is to the outside. Wrinkle. That's a new wrinkle. And he turned, he was able to turn the corner and he's going to pick up a first down. First down. Oh, Redmond. We got, a, we got a Red Raider down hurt. Who is that? With a knee. Uh, That's all we need. 80. 80. Who ran that? Who ran that? Redmond. Josh Aaron. No, I think it's 60. 60. Yeah, I guess John Rogers, the center. I don't even know who the backup center is. It might be Sean Kelly. How does center get hurt like that? Oh, well, trying to make a block. It's like, it's like maybe the backup center might be a sophomore, Eric Downing, going out. Actually, Eric's a junior. They're uh, taking a few snaps while you're over there. Yeah, what do you think? we'll practice a little bit. Yeah, now we look at him. We're scrambling to find a football on the sidelines. Absolutely. So take a few. Yeah, that's unfortunate when one of your starting senior linemen gets hurt like that. Hopefully, Aaron's going to be okay with it. It's just not good when you see a knee problem like that. Oh, he's going to pop up. Oh, yeah. Get on up, Mary, young man. Just a quick twist. Check it off like we know you can. Good, good, good. Oh, he's a, oh, yeah. He's walking on it, so that's, pro like you said, promising. Okay, first down Red Raiders. That's good news. It's their second first down of the first half. Ball's first and 10 on the 49-yard 40 yard line. First, first down. And we're getting ready to end the quarter. Gonna get a playoff? Snap, yeah. Redmond once again up the middle. And we, ah, London's pushing. 
Moving the back. About a seven yard gain there. And we end oh, the first. A fumble. No, don't say that, Carl. They're saying it. Nope, he's down. It wasn't your turn to talk, Carl. Don't you be saying stuff like that out of turn. Okay, are we in the first quarter with a score of seven to nothing. And they're having a conference with the officials. What did happen? No, nah, they're just, they're, they're, nah, we got it. They're just measuring and stuff. Yeah. So we're gonna change we're into the field. And Marcus Redman there in the first quarter, eight carries for 40 yards. And Corey Beaver attempted one pass. Or actually attempted two, completed one to Reggie Wilson for one yard and had one incomplete on that screen. One for two for him. Not a whole lot else there to say for Redman. There's two first downs in the first quarter. But hey, we're across midfield now, we're driving, so that's positive. And like I say, we're looking Pretty good on the offense yeah. part. We are moving the ball pretty good. Yeah. Tell you what, uh, we're out of score, same score that we ended up last week with a seven and up in the first quarter. When Bexley goes to that spread, it scares me a little bit, you know? Yeah. It seems like that Karsten looks pretty comfortable in that situation. They've used normally they've got a really good quarterback and a fast quarterback. Well, good thing about this, uh, Carl, we didn't have to go too far. Changing fields yeah. into the field. So London takes over after they change into the field with uh, second and four on the 43 yard line. Another handoff to Redmond. Hold on to it now. And he picks up about four yards, maybe three yards there for Red Raiders. Looks like he's doing a little dance there, a little spin, bring, turn. Bring up a real crucial um, third and one here for the third and about one and a half for the Red Raiders. This is going to be real important right here because you know now they got the wind to their back. I think that's definitely too too far to kick a field goal and too short to punt. So. Uh, let's make it here. Oh, Sean Kelly's now checked in at fullback. Our center is Redmond leading. once again. You got it. Boy, Redmond carries that ball off a loose. That's a different package we haven't seen. Sean Kelly is normally a lineman. Put a blocker a back here. Yeah, he done a good job right Make there. a Buffalo package out of it. He uh, looked like he was carrying that ball full, far from his body. We've definitely seen a lot more wrinkles tonight on offense than we've seen during week one. Think First and 10 on the 34-yard line. London running the same offense. Ooh. Oh, Tried man. To hit, did hand it Nothing to doing there. Hand off, quick hand off to Bobo. He got hit as soon as he had that ball on. As soon as he got it. A lot of times that will chalk up a fumble, but he hang on to the ball. Actually got a real good surge that time right up the middle. Man. Anybody else? Up second and 11. I didn't know what that play was. Whistles and flags, hankies. Oh, we get it. All going, side. Calls going against uh, Bexley. What was that? Is that offside? Is that what that was? Keith? Yeah, offside or coaching, whatever you want to call it. So that moves them back, which is second and second and seven on the 31 yard line. Williams uses the same package here, four plays in a row, same offensive set. Let's see what they're going to work out of it. This time Beaver rolls to run. And he might get back to the original line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. He rolled out to the short side of the field. That was never one of my favorite plays. They have another crucial third and one for the Red Raiders. Last time it was about one and a half. And they ran right, right behind Sean Kelly with Redmond running the ball. 
Oh, Redmond, oh, oh, Redmond got a good hole. He read that pretty. He's going to get a first down out of that. That was a nice little trap there by the left side of the offensive line there. Aaron Mabe and Nick Myers. Real nice little trap. You got that, like it's like he's going against the grain. What's, what's the name of that play? Huh? What do what you call that play when you go when you go across that way? Well, that was just what you call trap block, basically. I don't know how you cut back, cut back or anything. Misdirection. That's what I was looking for. Redman. Once again, the ball carrier Redman, and he's going to get up to the. He's going to get up to about the ten yard line. Yep. Second and two for the Red Raiders. They're calling it on the 10 yard line. Let's go, London. Because it's on the 10 yard Hang on to line. the ball. Hang on to the ball. Good call, Keith. Second and three. Let's get it. Real important drive here for the Red Raiders from a confidence standpoint. They're leaving that middle wide oh, open. Ooh, that's by Law Humphrey in there. He said hello, Mr. Red. Yeah. And we want to lose some yardage there. Wow. Nice. And by Law, he got him back there. That's that's going to be about a six loss, six yard loss there for Redmond. By law. Makes it uh, third and nine. Ball's back to the 16 yard line. We got a timeout. Uh oh. 87. Got working on the helmet out there on J.R. Swisher. Now Bobo just signals like a freight train from the back. I don't know what that was. Another quick hand off the Redmond, and they, he's picked up in the back of by against again by Bylaw. He's getting in there like he like he wasn't even touched. Nope. Bylaw almost got the handoff. Wow, Red Raiders was just down to the ten, knocking. On the door, mm. and now we're all the way back to the 19, almost to the 20-yard line. Fourth and 12. Now, when you got the wind to your back, you don't know. Could Do we have a kicker? Three points help you out here? Sure, definitely. Why not? Should be about a 37-yard field goal attempt if you decide to try to go that way. Looks like Red Raiders is going to try to run it. No, well, run it or pass it. Fourth and 12. Beaver rolls to the right. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. He gets out. Still running. He's going to be way short. He's running all the way, wasn't he? I think he was, I think he was looking out there. He's not he's getting hurt. up too quick either. He's hurt. He's getting up. He's okay. He's hard. He's got a little limp to him. And Bex is going to take over first and 10 on the 14 yard line. Then they had a good drive going there for a while, and all of a sudden it seemed like the interior line just bylaw just run over everybody coming through there, or else he wasn't touched. Whatever happened, London's on defense. Gonna stop it down here. Texas is gonna go back to the power eye package. They've had pretty good success with it. Seven minutes to go. First, second oh, quarter. Bylaw was tripped up. Number, Let's see. number 30. Looks like 47 Bobo also in on tackle. Levi Johnson. <laughs> see what's going on here. Six minutes and 40 seconds to go here in the second quarter. London Red Raiders down seven to nothing to Bexley. They were knocking on the door and just turned it over on Downs. It's Pruitt in motion. Here's and we got whistle. flags deep in London's backfield. Thrown by the back judge, so that means delay game. Delay game again. Wow. Let's fall back, Keith. London's definitely been very penalty free. Bexley's uh, Suffered a few of them. A little slow getting the play in. It makes it second and 11. 
penalties have helped us. No, oh, fumble, fumble, fumble. fumble. Get red. Loose ball. All right. That helps. That's going to bring up third down in about 13. Oh, that helps. Bexley, yeah. field position. Third and 13. I think Bexley will punt if they don't get this. Yeah. <laughs> I would. I would. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. This win could play a factor in the ninth ball game because maybe Bexley, if they do punt, doesn't punt, doesn't have, doesn't get a good punt. You know. Time will tell. We got something on this got third down. Right we'll here. cross. Here. This is real big for. We'll cross them tracks when the, when the yeah. gates go up. It's a big one. Oh. oh, who's got the ball? He aired it out. It's, it's there. Deep. All right. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't have to do that either because the ball wasn't there. Doesn't matter. In high school, it doesn't matter about catchable or not catchable. Doesn't matter. He didn't throw it far enough. We'd have... Uh... Yeah, because the, the receiver was, he was, uh, he was on his way. Did he end up catching the ball, but just out of bounds? Or no, 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 he didn't catch it. Way short. We had well, the kid that got interfered it. with. It almost hit the well, the London man had his back. Right. Yeah, he had his back to To him. the ball. Yeah. He seen a guy turn and, and uh, you yeah. know. That's going to be a first. And we just, yeah. we were that just hurts. talking about the penalty free. London just picks up their first one. Yeah. Now it's a costly one. Yeah. Really Tighten up, Raiders. Raiders still going four down linemen. A little bit different than what we saw last time. Running run to come out of the uh, pro eye on that there. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Kyle and Longstorff got a hold of him right there at the last minute. But not to after bylaw makes a first down and then some. We've got the Bexley stat people right next to us here. So at halftime, we'll get a full update on both teams' stats. First and 10 on the 42. Rolling seven to nothing. Bexley lines. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bexley spread it out pretty much that time. Parsons got a man open. And it was, should have been picked off by number four for London. That would be Ethan Freet. Went through his hands. And then Longsworth almost had it there. Right. He tipped a little bit. All right. We're going to bring up second and ten for Bexley. Six was the receiver. Yeah. Bexley's, Bexley has always had a pretty good passing attack. Second and ten on the 42 yard line. And they spread it out again. <laughs> Going back to the spread here. He's got plenty of time. And, he's, and he overthrows his receiver. Looked like he had number 19. Incomplete here. pass. Blake Coons looked like he's open. Who's a Coon? What are you talking about? Blake Coons. Oh, okay. The wide receiver. Third and 10 on the 42 yard line. Your turn to talk, Carl. He's not. He has left the building. <laughs> Third and ten, Oh, I still got a sore third. That hurt. <laughs> From their own 42. Third and ten. We Stop. had them pinned. We had them pinned. We yeah. let them loose a little bit. Stop them here. Thurston getting blitzed by Levi oh! Johnson. Nobody Wide open. To cover. Did he get it? Yep. Yep, first, first down. Time. Boy, they brought the... Longsdorf makes the tackle and runs him out of bounds, but there was nobody out there anywhere near the receiver. I think that kid, I'm not sure if he lined up in the slot or came straight out of the backfield, but the linebacker must have been had responsibilities and I think he uh, I think he blitzed the quarterback and left him wide open. I think he blew it. <laughs> that ain't gonna work right. Get that wall right there. I was trying to build a wall here. <laughs> First and ten, the Lions. Man, back to the spread. Man. Back to the spread. Oh, big tight end, wide open across the middle. That's at number five again. That's John Carroll. He's the tight end. 6'5, 215. We got for the Lions. 
Huh? Oh, yeah, there is a flag. See Hanky? Yep. After the play? Ball's clear down to the 20-yard line. Over, now, I can tell You're you, right. pending the flag. This is this is not a full crew. Oh, oh illegal man downfield. The, uh, I know this, I was talking to an official last night, and he said it, it got posted on the website looking for officials for tonight's ball game. The regular crew had two members that couldn't make it. Is that right? And they were looking for some substitutes. And, of course, most of these guys get booked out all year in advance ahead of time. So, so you, the official that I was talking to yeah. said good did, possibility that maybe, you know, might have some substitute officials. Did they call you? Do no, I'm baseball. I do baseball. Oh, you don't do football? Well, I'm really good at football. I mean, you know, you've, you've seen my work from here in the booth. Okay. No, basically, I'm a good official. Okay. <laughs> basically, you could have done, we could have marked you up, you could have done two jobs. Mm hmm. You could have. First and 15 here. Back to the eye formation for Karsten. That's Bilal Humphrey. Nice tackle there by look like Levi Johnson. This Humphrey, he's a pretty agile. He's over 200 pounds. Yeah. He's, he's a load. Man, he, he not runs so, hard. Not so got him, but that was uh, kind of like a speed bump there. Uh -huh. yeah. Got gotcha. hurt. Got mm -hmm. him down. That's all matters. Yeah. Johnson ain't scared. He'll, he'll hit him. Just Mr. Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Texas really got a lot of time in this possession and also in the drive that they scored in, they ate up a lot of time. Back to the spread. Looking for number eight out here. No catch. Yeah. I think he caught it. Out of bounds. Out. That's John Thomas there on the almost catch. Okay, John Thomas, he's uh, used to, his father used to coach here and he's not out of picture. He may end up coaching here. The um, Our varsity coach played against John Thomas when John Thomas was a quarterback in high school. And how would you know that, Gary? Um, you covered the game for WLHS? There you go. <laughs> Gary was alive back then. Huh? Yeah, I was still alive then. Back to the spread. <laughs> I, this Karsten looks comfortable in this spread. Yep, he finds a oh, short man. Tripped, tripped over his own feet, didn't he? Yeah, yeah that's that place where Evergreen people didn't cut the grass quite enough. Thanks, Evergreen. <laughs> Working a little plug there. And Red Raiders. <laughs> that was fourth down. Oh, it is Brings fourth up down. fourth down. They're going to yeah. punt into the wind. From, fourth and four. From the London 39. Probably not bad. Let's see. What's London going to do? This is their backup quarterback as their punter, so you got to watch him. It's a good punt for where he's oh. at. It's going to roll dead on clear inside wow, of the, what a punt. on right the five. The wow. wow, that was good. That was a bowsy wowsy there. I said wow. Carl said wow. And Ready I said bowsy wowsy. It's that field position. That's what like we said earlier, field position is everything. It's a long way to drive for the Red Raiders with three minutes, three seconds to go here in the first half. 95 yards from pay dirt. Still only seven left. That's a good thing. Yeah. Only seven up last week at halftime. Three minutes left in the first half. So that's great. So far, that's, we still got time to mount a drive. Just break one, man. Big play. Big play. Oh, oh ball. Awesome ball. Looked like a Raider red shirt jersey is on it real quick. Yeah. Anybody get it? Bobo get it? 47, Bobo. Checking in Zedley, number 84. Oh, no, that's Long. I'm sorry. That's Kyle Long checking in the ball game. Maybe running in a play there. A little hard to signal him in from that distance. Which Red Raiders do that quite a bit. Another hand off to Redmond. He stopped at the line. Wow, he might even lost a little Looks bit. Looks like right we might there. be going a little bit backwards, and we don't have any room back we to go. We don't have any room at all. Oh, man. Looks like, are they going to set this ball at? Yeah, it looks like on the four, so. Wow. I don't know what kind of speed we got, but now is where we air it out. Just under two minutes to go here in the first half. 
London versus Bexley. Uh, he's going to throw a quick pass. Got oh, a good yeah, oh, he had a block. I thought he had a peel back block and didn't quite get there. Now it's going to be about a five yard completion, but that's going to leave the Red Raiders short. And the ball's going to be lined up on about the five yard line. On the 10. 10, okay, we got to the 10. So we're going to be still putting out of our end zone. I'm out back. Wow, they're going to try to figure out some way to either put on a return yeah. or put on a block. London will be hunting with the with the wind of their back. I'm going to check the flag. Yep, flag's still down there. And we got a timeout <laughs> with a minute 44 left in the first half. Yeah, they want to score before halftime. And you can see the score there. It is seven to nothing. Let's see where. <laughs> It'll be there. It'll be there. <laughs> It'll be the there. Mario added, added it in. It'll be there. <laughs> it's been there every week. <laughs> it's not your turn to talk, Carl. <laughs> Watch the red light, and when it pops on your oh, side. All right. I'm colorblind. <laughs> Coach Dennis coming off the field there. He's directed the troops, and I'm guessing. I mean, I see Wolverton out there in deep formation. Maybe faking here? <laughs> yeah. There you go. You got the wind to your back. We only got five yards to go. They've got two men deep. Looks like they're not going to put on much of a rush here. They're only going to rush four. Wolverton gets a pretty high punt. Good hang time, but... And they he fair catch it. Fair catch it at about the 44, 42 yard line. About 42 yard line. Right on, yeah, about 42. So 10, 20. Looks about like the 40, rain gave us a, a break. It let up on us. 32 yard punt there for Wolverton. That's yep. been about what he's been averaging. So Bexley's going to take over for first and 10 on the 41 yard line. And it's minute 38, and then you're going to have to put on a big defensive stand right here for a minute and a half. Well, we've seen Karsten throw the ball. He's not afraid of that. That's they for had, sure. They had a late little. He right. didn't have much. Sexton chasing him. He didn't have much pressure. It's caught. Uh oh, he's got one out there. And we got a man he's loose for a touchdown. Down the he line. looked like he stepped on the sideline, but I guess that's inbounds. Wow. You know what, that was slow to develop, but what the quarterback done was he played off yep. on London's linebacker there. He waited till London's linebacker decided to rush him, right. and once he done that, then he threw the pass. Yeah, that, was, that was nice. Threw it over his head. Yep. Makes the score 13 and nothing. He caught London's linebacker in no man's land. Three, about 12 seconds. Here Took we go again with this play. These are called what's called gadget plays. Sometimes you do it, sometimes you don't. End of the wind. Looks like he's got it. Maybe. Yes. And it's called good. So at the end, with 125 left in the first half, Bexley goes up 14 to nothing. That is not a good sign. No. So we still got a lot of football left. Oh yeah. Let's cover the Red Raiders' future schedule. Just to remind everybody, next week we'll be at Northeastern. Away at Northeastern. Yeah, at Northeastern. And that will depend on how Northeastern. And a lot of these schools don't uh, take kindly to us coming and doing the game out of their press box. So uh, we'll have to wait and see how that develops. And for the Red Raiders in week four. We Three games in a row, Keith, that are away. So four it's games. very possible. Uh, is one of them, row, is one of them uh, Jonathan Alder? Yeah, Jonathan Alder's in week five. A lot of times they're pretty good about letting us use their press, get in their press box. So it's a possibility. Yeah, we're very possibility we could, we could, we'll go there and be be welcomed. And the London's first league game is Greenfield McLean in week four. See what Bexley tries this time. Of course, this time they're into the wind, which kind of changes the way you think about taking off. They still go for an onside here. Catch the ball. Good job. London's going to take over on about the 33 yard line. Catches it and goes down. That was number 18, Reggie Wilson there on the reception. Uh, coach forgot 
He's smart this year. This week, he got to put some good hands people up there. I think he was expecting the onside kick. So London will take over first and 10 on 31. I gave him a couple yards. They took it back. Minute 25 left in the first half. Everybody's running the slot formation to this side, with their flex receiver to this side. Underneath the Bobo. Oh, completed pass Bobo. Bobo, and he gets he it back. back. Oh, hit him on the ground. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. That, that could have been a choice of a late hit or going after a loose ball. Or a spear. Set the ball with a spear, mouth. yeah. Minute 16 to go here. Second and one. I guess this is football, though. <laughs> Still not allowed to spear him, are you, Carl? Yeah, I'm Reggie's a little slow getting to his position over there. The Raiders need to hustle a little bit here. They're under a minute. Quick hand off the Redman. He's, no, that's Bobo. not Redman. That's Bobo. First and he down. broke the first tackle and picked up a few extra yards and on the first down. Up. How many did he pick up that time, Keith? About eight. Eight yards. Yeah, hurry up. Clock's running. 52 yeah, seconds. What they done was they, they stopped the clock until a change was set and the ball set for play and then they started. So now we're at 45 seconds to go here. Step back. Looking for Reggie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, incomplete. Was yeah, that was, was that Reggie short, out there at Longsdorf? Or Long? I think it's long. 42? Longsdorf, 32. They, See, a lot of times in London put Longsdorf and Wilson on the same side of the field. That time they split them, and I think that caught back so offhand. There. Weren't ready. Number 31 out there in coverage, Chris Beck for Bexley. Bring up second down. The clock does stop on incompletion. Makes it second and ten on the balls on the 48 yard line. 38 seconds. I'll pitch out to Longsdorf. He's got some room. He's going to pick up the first down. Oh, he didn't get out. Now he did get out of there. First down, Longsdorf. First, he said when he was still yeah, in yeah. there. Well, they definitely have to stop it for. Uh... No, he didn't get out. No, he stopped it for, for the change. Move the change. Yeah. Okay, we're going to set it. And forget it. There you go. Set it and forget it. I've seen <laughs> that on TV. Yeah. Like he's oh, that was a draw! Him. Hey, that was, that was sweet. That was a Quick draw, draw play. London's going to take a timeout. London's going to take a timeout. And that's about three yards. That's a nice little play there. Apparently, London's got two timeouts left, so they have one, one more remaining here. Just under 20 seconds to go here in the first half. 14 to nothing, Bexley. Ball's on the 35-yard line. London's had some good, decent drives. Yeah. We just haven't been able to capitalize, put... As soon as we get some points on the board, yeah. I think you're going to see a different team it's out there. Help a little bit. Yeah. But until we get some points on the board this year, that's it makes it tough. You see some improvement though. Oh, I've definitely seen improvement from week one to week two. Yeah. Seen a little bit more creativity in some yeah. of the offensive sets too. I think that's yeah. that's a good thing. And you can definitely tell they made some adjustments with what right. they've been doing. Seen some better play calling. Yep. I'm impressed so far. Mm -hmm. Let's just see what the Raiders can do here. With, you know, you got 35 yards to pay dirt for a touchdown, only 18 seconds. The odds are not good, but we'll give our best shot. Beaver with a two step drop. Bounce off. Ooh. Ooh. That was almost a planned that, play right there. That would have been nice. Let it bounce off Longsworth's shoulder yeah. and let Reggie catch it. That almost happened. We had a play like that. I showed it in, in one of the uh, yeah, was games a few, few years back. Happened Greenfield like that. Game a couple yeah. years ago. Flopped right in Diller's hand down at uh, Orson Courthouse. The Philippo threw the pass off to of Bobby Sanders and Dillard caught it. It makes it third and chance. seven. 14 seconds. Good. good pressure on Beaver. Yeah. Oh, he's loose. Get out of bounds. He's out of bounds. Oh, there's some time left. Five seconds left. 
Boy, I didn't think he's going to get that far. Good <laughs> run, Buck, Mr. What, Beaver. He's a lot faster than what a lot of people give him credit for. I think he, he can run. He got him a little seam, man. He was one play. Turned it on. Barring a penalty, one play. Well, you might get two plays out of this if you run okay. one quick pass out. I can't doubt it. Actually, looks a little confused on defense. They're looking. Oh, nearly intercepted. Now, oh, we got it now. The half cannot end on defensive penalty. Well, it's still 1.7 seconds. Oh, okay. So it's still got a little bit of time. I think they're going to call interference. I want some time back on the clock. What? <laughs> put some time. <laughs> yeah. Put some time back on the clock, please. Now there's definitely one play left. Barring the penalty. Holding, holding, all right, holding. there you go. Well, it's still going to be first down one, then replay the down, half the distance to the goal line. Should set the ball on about the eight. Let's see where they set it. Field goal? Yeah, it looks like they're going to set it on the eight. Field goal? He's calling field for goal? field goal. No, he's calling for Buffalo package. He's calling for Buffalo package. Long source comes out. Sean Kelly goes in. Let's see what coach has got. They've run right every time just about under this. We, we did see one time they ran the cutback to Marcus Redmond on the trap. Remember he went left instead of going right? He got him lined up to the right. He's going to pitch right. Get in there, Marcus Redmond! Touchdown, London! Go ahead, boy! Go ahead, cousin! <laughs> That's the straw that broke the camel's back. Six to nothing. Let's add another point. Six to nothing. Yeah. That's our <laughs> six first six to points and no points last week. Yeah. That was nice. With That's the way, not the, the score, ladies and gentlemen. Score, we're going to win this game. That's not the score, ladies and gentlemen. Right now it's 14 to six. You can see it. I got so excited. I, I didn't want them to have no points. You can see it right at the corner. Let's see what we got here. Sean Kelly to kick, Corey Beaver to hold. I think Copley does the snap. I'm not sure. Boy, he had good time. Man, that bad boy went way up there, didn't it? It's wow. good. And we have a score. London 7, Bexley 14 as we end the half. So we went off with a good note. Good job, guys. And we will be back here taking you to the London, to the band shortly.
got about a minute and 40, 10 seconds left until kickoff. Getting ready for the second half. London versus Bexley. We've got a uh, score of 14 to 7 at halftime. Bexley team just made their way back on the field. Waiting for the London team to. Here they come making their appearance. Got some stats for you if you want them. We'll get these, these stats here in just a second. Had a real fine game. The band did a good job. But before we get any further, I want to make an apology to the soccer teams. They had uh, wins. Boys and girls both won uh, the other night. Carl and I were up here with some other people. and for four hours. For four hours filming and stuff with the new equipment. And somehow something got cut off and tough, shut off and mixed up and nothing came out right. So we're very sorry we're not going to be able to give you that game, those two games, but we will, before the season's over, we will get back out here and get you hopefully another situation where both teams won. And what was really bad about our situation is both teams won and we're not able to give it to you after we work for some hours to try to get it to you. And back to football. I have a few stats here. Keith Smith wants to throw them at you. The well, score is 14-7. Um, back through those stats, Keith. Very good. Had Marcus Redman down, 18 rushes for uh, it's like seven, 78 yards there in the first half with one touchdown. Corey Beaver had three rushes for 36. Corey also scored for six passing the ball, 25 yards on its completions. Um, big ones there, two of them to Kyle Longsdorf. Wolverton was four punts for averaging 29 yards a punt. And then for Bexley, I got a few of them here. Actually, you know, in the first half, it was tied on first downs. Eight first downs London, eight first downs Bexley. What? That was kind of It's actually been a pretty close game yeah. with the exception yeah. of a couple penalties and... Uh, yeah, one of the big stories there has been penalties for Bexley. They've had seven penalties for 37 yards. Not a lot of yardage, but... And then, of course, London... They've had a couple big plays that's really uh, tuned them up for to get their scores, too. Well, London, you got to remember, London had the... Uh, one big, their only penalty of the first half was the pass interference that really yeah. cost them right That there. led to the, a Bexley score. Yeah. For Bexley, by Lala Humphrey, their big running back, had 116 yards. Kaplan, their passer, I thought he'd done a little bit better, but he was only four for 10 for 69 yards and one touchdown. So that's the stats. He just looks good. When he rolls out, he looks like he's in complete control. But he's got a lot, he has, seems like he has a lot of time to release the ball too. He's got uh, plenty of time to run, scram around back there, so hopefully that don't come back to bite us in the second half. None's not looking too bad, we're only down seven. Our first uh, seven points of the of the season, so I say that's a, that's a plus. They finally got some points on the board. That's a plus. Big turn there for London when we was down to the 10 yard line there with the first down where it was about the 11. And uh, had a, pen, had a uh, couple plays go bad there and ended up a couple negative rushing yards. And next thing you know, there was like uh, third and, I don't know, it was like, like about third and 18. And yeah. Didn't have a positive outcome down there. Well, I hope we're fired up. I well, I haven't seen the coach come up and far up the stands yet, people in the stands. He did that before the game started. He came out and was a cheerleader there for a few seconds. So, and his motto is win for London, not yep. not win for him or win for a team, win for London. So London, we need to get behind him. I thought he'd bring that up. Red Raiders going to be kicking off into the wind here to start off this second half. He just pointed out to me something in the lineup here and it's got 12, number 12, student number 12 is the main section. I'm not sure how to read that. It's right. kind of like the 12th man. A lot of times law schools have what they call the 12th man. 
Mark started, I think got started at Texas A&M in the 50s. They had the coach used to pick out one person, one student out of the stands every year, every, every game I think it was, to uh, be on the opening kickoff. So he'd practice with the team for a week and then dress and then he'd be on the kick coverage. Uh, yeah. You never heard that story? No. <laughs> it's a good story. Yeah, that's what it sounds like, too. A story. Yep, the 12th man tradition at Texas A&M. Wow. Look it up in your book. <laughs> Let's see if London can maintain a little momentum here. I mean, they got to be proud of what they've done in the first half. Yeah. Yep. I mean, they really, I think they look a lot better than they did week one. Oh, yeah. Now let's see what they got planned uh -oh. here. Here we go. It's going to get 10 it's yards. It's there if we get the ball. Nope, we ain't going to get it. It touched the London player right at about yard number 11 there. Yeah. I'm surprised Bexley didn't watch their films from last week. They wasn't paying attention, was it? We didn't do that last week, did we? Yeah. Well, we attempted. We started to try it. But that line up like that? Yeah. 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 Remember, we ran offside. Okay. I mean, not just a little bit offside. We ran way offside. <laughs> I remember running offside, but I didn't remember what this lined up like that. For man, that, that almost worked. There could have worked. It was close. Well, it we worked. had the ball. We had our hands on it. Everybody fell. The ball kept going. Somebody's got to dive. Yep. Oh, hand pitch in the boy, that was three. a sweet pitch out, buddy. Uh -oh, uh oh, first play of the game. He's gone. He's gone. Wow, First play of the game. You could tell when that, with that way that pitch out, way that play developed, it was going to be a big one. You could hear the Bexley coaches all the way down here, so at the other end, they're celebrating. That was probably a play that they planned all the way through half. Oh man, that was sweet. If you seen how that pitch out was a bullet, he had that ball no sooner than that ball left to seem like the quarterback's hands. No good speed there, too. Yeah, he, got the wind the back. he turned on the Jets, so that makes the score 20 to 7 that quick. That knocks you back a little bit. A little trouble there with the hole. And it's blocked. Looks like maybe. Uh, so at, with 11.46 to go like in the third quarter, we're looking at a. 27 score. Bexley scores on the first play of the game. Like Kyle Longsdorf may be in there on the block. Now it makes you wonder how good that uh, on try kick was. Of course, the play could have went 70 yards. Mm. Wow, that really took a little wind out of the Red Raiders' sails right oh, there. Man. They've, got, they've got to get excited again. I mean, they've still got to be proud of the way they played in the first half. That had to hurt. So, quiet me down, I know that. You're just because you're Those shivering and shivering like crazy, Gary. Just kicked him in I'm hanging in the eight. Just <laughs> caught, I tried to fall during the band, and then he, then he kicked me and tried to knock me down. I caught you first time. Nice catch, Carl. Caught you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, Bex is kicking off in the wind. Remember one time he kicked it in the end zone, then the next time he decided he wanted to punch it out of bounds, so. I don't think he'll do that again. No, I think he's going to try to kick it in the end zone, I don't think. Well, that play took 14 seconds there. Mm. I mean, that's all more run off the clock so far. Nice deep kick. Just short of the goal line. Ooh, mm -hmm. He looks like he stepped back. Go, Marcus, he's got go, some room. He's got some room. Man to beat. That kicker's a good athlete. Though. And lost the ball. Was no, he didn't. No, didn't. Looks like a fumble. Good return. The ball was returned from the one yard line all the way to the 46, 47. 47 yard line, 47 punt yard punt return for Redmond. Well, with that with that kickoff return, that gives him about a, over 120 yards total offense. That might tell you why they've been kicking short. Looks like Rogers is back in the ball game for the Red. I don't know. That's that's Rogers back in there at center for the Red Raiders. Whistles. Uh, I think they were all size. I think, I think, I think their left defensive end lined yeah. up offside. Uh -huh. And that's yeah. who the officials talking to. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's yeah. number one, Antoine Pratt. Good play. Good call, Pete. 
and throws for it. Another Bexley penalty. That's our eighth on the night. Makes it first and five. Who do we give those yards to? The penalty. Mm -hmm. I'll take them. Give them to the 12th man. Yeah, there you go. Beaver, two-step drop, looking for Reggie Wilson. Oh, you got to catch them balls. Just do that a little, put a little bit of extra juice on that one. Second and five, the ball's on the 48-yard line. It's a 52, isn't it, Gary? 52, I'll buy that. Like face, fake handoff. No, Redmond does have it. Yeah, he had the ball. Man, he's still rolling. He he's still like he got a yard out. Bucking for yards there. He might have got a yard or two. Not much. He looked like he was hit immediately. Yeah, yeah getting a pretty good spot there. Looks like maybe getting a, about a yard yeah. and a half. When first down. Backfield number 47. That looks was like, Bobo was caught in the backfield. Looks like Matt Loy with a nice charge there for the Bexley Lions. That was a big play right there. It was about a third and three, and now looks like about a fourth and seven. Wow. Big play there by Loy. <laughs> fourth and seven. Ball's on the 50 yard line. He's going to send in Wolverton to punt. He didn't take a real deep drop. Kind of short, really. But he's punting into the wind. He only averaged about 29 yards a kick. Straight in the up. First half, and that's not going to help Corner. his average at all. Going to go out of bounds on. Oh, they give us a spot and a half. Uh, he's, he's still up. moving. He's walking up. I can't really say. That's still. Uh, why did he do that? He was kind of over dramatizing that a little bit, I think. That's why they did it. He went way past it and then yeah. come back to it? The guy on the other side has a better angle and tells him where to stop. Okay. That's a new one on me. And about a 24 yard punt there for Wolverton. <laughs> And there's a quick, quick pitch, pitch out. It's a different runner this time. And he's got some wing to lay, uh, some speed That's too. Seth White. He's behind. He's oh my goodness! Look out, Katie! Bar the door. And we go. Is that two plays, two touchdowns? Yes, Gary. Your mathematics is very good this evening. Have mercy. That was the same play. It developed a little bit slower, and that was Seth White running that ball. He's. Tiny little scat back, 5'9", 170. I like, that, I like that quarterback. We haven't been any uh, second half team so far this year. Mm. He's also going to tempt the point. Oops. Got that one free. Yep, and it's good. With 10.02 left in the third quarter. I don't like the sound of this. 27 to 7. Wow. That's quick. If you fell asleep on the couch and you thought it was 7 7. <laughs> well, 14 7. 14 7. Now it's 27 7. That was quick. A little challenge here for Coach Dennis to keep the kids up and keep them positive. I mean, they're, they're still, I still say they're looking much better this week than they looked last week. Despite those two long runs. Let me give him something to work on for next week. Yeah, let's try to get some numbers out there for London. We got, uh, looks like Miles Copley out there, uh, Levi Johnson, Jacob Eastep. Side. Oh, oh. Unless Levi Johnson got that, I'd say Bexley got it. I'd say Bexley got it. What? I don't he think so. There's a red. Levi Johnson he dove down. in at the last second, but London got it. 
Looks like 43 comes out of the pile there with it. Mike Peterman. There's always somebody on the other team pointing like they got the ball. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, 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 he, no, we had it. He almost dove in. I didn't see anybody from London yeah, pointing yeah. that we had it. Well, I said the other team. <laughs> First down, 10 for the Red Raiders. So I've got the same lineman out there. Looks like Aaron Mabe and Nick Myers on your right-hand side, Sam White and Zach Hillman on your left-hand side, John Rogers under center, J.R. Swisher, your tight end. Redman once again, right straight up the middle. He's going to pick up I say he close. Pick up. They got a good spot. Ball's on the 50. Grandma keeps his feet driving. Always pointed towards the goal line. Yeah, he's got a lot of big holes on He him. runs north and south. Yeah, he does. Sam White and Zach Hellman over there. Big boys blocking them down. Grandma Sam loose again. He's looking good for a sophomore first first year uh, running that position in, in on varsity. Nice five-yard pickup there. And a first down. Makes it uh, first and ten on the, what we have now, Carl, uh, Keith. Huh? 56. Canadian football. 44-yard line. First and ten. We're in the third period. Believe it or not, it's 27 to 7. London on the losing end right now. Oh, Beaver. Oh, I think maybe that might have been a oh, busted play, play there. I know Kyle Long went out long for the pass, but. Beaver looked, he's looked like, uh, what do I do with this thing now? You eat it? Yeah, nobody wants it. Yeah, he got it. What it tastes like? Mmm. <laughs> Pig skin. Yeah. Put a little hot sauce on it, make you run faster. Second Lennon's 10 for the Raiders. Spread Look wide out. to the right. Oh, man. And it's picked off. Up. Picked off by number seven, J.D. Ramage. Ramage. Yeah. Wow, number one, Antoine Pratt just rushed from his left defensive end position. And if somebody blocked him, they didn't block him very good. Wouldn't they get anything on that pass? Wow. Nice interception there by J.D. Ramage. So after interception, actually takes over first and 10 on the 33-yard line. Are they going to make it three for three? Coming out of the, yeah, 74 section comes out of the game. Well, they've run left twice on that quick pitch. That's the wide side. To the, until they stop it, what do you think? Running to the wide side. Run it again? They're in a, set up in a pro eye here. Straight hand off to Bylaw. And Bylaw. Bylaw, he does a lot of spin in there too. He remind, yeah. remind me a little bit of uh, Harris. Harris there coming through that line. But he's Harris. got a little spread of power going through there. I mean, speed. Yeah. He's cooking. I think Gary been working together too long. I'm finishes, finishing his sentence. And, and I am happy about that. I'm mad at that. <laughs> Another half of his brain. Uh huh. Yeah. The half don't work anymore. The other half never worked, so. Here we go. That same pitch is. out. That's Seth White. Seth White, he's London got a wall. It. London streams and he breaks it back. Man, he's quick, isn't he? And he's got an open oh, field. He's gone. London's going to try to block in the back. But he almost ran out of, get, out of gas. What a cutback. Sweet cutback. Number 11, Seth White. That's his second touchdown for long yardy. The game of our telecast, it actually might be one of the quicker teams we see all season. I think right there we saw a pretty quick kid. That three, that, that, that play's gave him three touchdowns. They always uh, have. That play's play given three yeah. That one took a little longer to develop. The first one was just a straight run. London kind of held that one up a lot more, but still couldn't find the tackle. They some cuts, didn't they? They seem like their blocking is set up, downfield blocking is really slick. We gotta get to trivia, Gary. I'm Look, here's the play. Oh, here's the play. Oh, almost had the tackle. Another almost tackle. And he got oh, in no. for two. Oh my gosh, Red Raiders just forgot the tackle right there. They kept. They had him. They had him. They had him. Thirty-five to seven after a two-point yes. conversion. Wow. Who passed that, Joe? 
Right. Anyway, I don't know if you knew it or not, Gary, but last uh, 40 years ago, the Red Raiders were undefeated. This season, 40 years ago this season, the Red Raiders were undefeated. They were 9-0, and they won the Mid-State, the Mid-8 Conference. Mm -hmm. Name for me the eight schools that were in the Mid-8 Conference back then. London participated in that conference for a year. It was a basically a Columbus-based conference. London now is, plays in a Fayette County, mm -hmm. you know, uh, right. whatever the other county is down there, Hillsborough and all that. Madison County. We're not really in a suburban Columbus conference anymore, but one conference that we dominated in the mid 60s was the mid eight. Name for me the eight schools in the mid eight conference. London. That's one. That's good. Gahanna. That's two. You gotta make people at home think a little bit. Yeah, we'll slow down. Gary's half a brain is really cooking on this one. <laughs> That's the only half that works. <laughs> yeah, so you only get years ago. <laughs> No, not a, uh oh, another chipper. Oh, they. Now who was? That was a nice job by Freed there to hold on to them. Was it Freed or was that Edley? Was that four? Eight? That was eighty-four. Edley yeah. done a nice job. Oh no, that was Long. I'm sorry. Long caught Man, made that catch. Got to give credit where uh, credit is. Mifflin. That's three. You're doing good, Gary. Slow down. Gary's having a flashback. Time out. <laughs> Time out. Gary needs his medication. Grove City. That's four. Man. That's pretty good. Haven't missed any of them yet. London? You already said that. Oh. We're trying to cheat, Gary. <laughs> well, I tell you what, I mean, it's London dominated. I mean, that, that was school. I mean, that was a conference. That was a power conference it at was. the time. It was. It was. It was. London used to dominate that. I, I was at the library this afternoon looking at. Oh, old, nothing old doing. Quick handoff to Redmond, and he's brought down immediately at the line of scrimmage. I was looking at old yearbooks and uh, yeah. looking at through the mid '60s, and that relates to next week's question. I got a question about that undefeated squad from 40 years ago. Wow. West Jeff wasn't in it because they wasn't any good back then. That's when we were, London was running rough shot over them all the time. Yeah, nice. Raiders got two receivers at the bottom of your screen. Hilliards. That's five. Dude. Oh. They're doing good. Wow, no good there for London. Beaver took about an eight-yard loss there. Now I quit. I'm going I'm to concentrate on this game a little bit. Bring your gloves next week, get you here. I don't need them. Next, next game. I don't need them. You don't need them? Coach too big. Uh, Remember, this coat fit me uh, three years ago. Go back to Turtle Man. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go back in my shell, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even cold. What you say cold? Come on, Red Raiders, let's get something established here. At least build a little bit of confidence going into next week. There you go. Ooh, ouch, that was by Law Humphreys right there, I thought. 22 with a big hit on Corey B. By Law come out of nowhere. Wow, that was about another eight. Untouched. Wow, two big sacks there, and the Red Raiders are. Man, we're back into negative yardage here for the second. Fourth and 24. You don't count return yards, one is negative offense for the second half, for the third quarter here so far. Wolverton looks like he's going to go back to punt. He's into the wind again, remember, it's, it's tough. The wind is still pretty strong, even late at night. Oh, well, that was almost blocked. And Might have been. Oh, it's a. He did. I heard, I heard a whistle. I heard a whistle. So she I didn't, penalty, I didn't, took off. Did he, did he call for a fair catch? I don't know if he did. I didn't see, him I didn't see it either. Catch. I don't know what happened. I don't know. I was wondering why they hadn't run one back, tried to run one before. 35 to 7, we're down to 5 to 33, and we still got a half a quarter and a quarter to go. How about an inadvertent whistle? It must have been something. Yeah, they're just they're talking about. Yeah. Maybe he, th he must have thought he called fair catch. Was Groveport in that? Penalty on that. That's six, Gary. Who did he say? Groveport. Look at Gary. No, he's just, he's just 
Oh, yeah. Trying to figure He's out only two. got two more to get. I, I think you've done uh, I reactivated his other half of his brain. This is like therapy. This is like therapy. <laughs> yeah. for Carl, it's not your turn to talk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm trying to think who else is over that way. Now, there was a few teams that went in and out. I, in fact, I think I did read somewhere at one time Bexley was in the mid-80s. I could be wrong. Wow, another big hitter. That's number 24 for Bexley there. Khalid Reinhardt. I can't remember if Granby was in our league then or not. Does that count as an official guess? I don't know. can't remember. can't remember him being in there. I'm thinking... Um, um, Mifflin? You already said that. Did I say Mifflin? See, that half his brain's not working. He's thinking of stuff 40 years ago. Well, I should have pretty good. I should have wrote it down. Ago, Check it out. He's not, not working so good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad he's still here. Yeah. And the brains he's had. Was um, Marysville in that conference? Absolutely, yes. That's and seven. And possibly Urbana. Is that your guess? Yeah. That's nope, you're wrong on that one. Okay. But we'll give you a reprieve. I mean, well, Urbana was in our league He's for a lot of time. They played Urbana. You only got one more to go. I mean, I am shocked. Because some of these schools don't really exist anymore. I mean, there's no Hilliard High School anymore. Because now we got Hill too. Gary doesn't exist. There's three. Yeah. Gary's there's, there's three Hilliard schools. Yeah, there's going to be three Hilliards. So there's still Hilliard. I'll give you a little clue. The other town, you want a clue or not? Go ahead, lay it on me. The other town now has three high schools. Westerville. Yep. Ah. That's eight of them. That's very good. That's ah. really shocks. I didn't know if Gary get that one. Hey, he didn't have smoke coming out of his ears up here. Gary, happy face. Mid give me, eight league. Give me, mid some, give me some give money. Me some money. <laughs> in the mid 60s, London, of course, 40 years ago this ah. year, they were undefeated in the mid eight with a 7 0 record. They beat Grove City, Tehanna, Groveport, Hilliard. Ooh. Westerville, Mifflin, Marysville. Of course, they didn't have to beat London, so. Some of the players on that team. Uh, that's for next week. Oh, okay. You better go study your trivia. Oh, he hit the ball. That's Kaplan. Nice pass to Pratt. Oh, uh, we got a penalty behind the behind the play, right in the area holding. Let's see what the call is. The umpire made the call. It's holding. You go, Keith. Now look who throws the flag. No, I'm serious, you go. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, yeah like basketball. <laughs> Down the floor and out the Hold door. Hold on. You guys need me because you need somebody to carry equipment. <laughs> so Down the floor think, and out the door. Think, think pretty hard before you kick me out of here, okay? <laughs> I got a follow-up to trivia from last week. Oh, you do? Yeah, your trivia. You talking? Been talking to Red again? Uh, uh, Red Rutherford? No, actually, you know, I saw something when I was at the courthouse one time that I thought was pretty fascinating. And I don't know the whole story behind it. Maybe somebody from around town will fill me in. But we got a new runner back there, 24. What's his oh name? man, was that a tackle? Get his name. He can smoke. That's Khalid Reinhardt. He's had one other rush, and he's done pretty good the first time he had the ball. Reinhardt looked like he's got some wheels, too. We're down to 441 in the third quarter. Yeah, Gary, your question last week was what was the first London football field? We decided it was the Water Tower Field. Or yeah. what I answered, the Water Street Field. Right. What's, there used to be a Water Street in London. What street or road in London used to be called Water Street and is now called Blank Street? Watch your mouth. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the bleepy mouth, Gary. Mm. It used to be called Water Street. It's in, it's on a plat map up in the on display in the the commons of the courthouse. First and ten on that play, and they picked up about start with a C. four yards. No. Oh. Give us the first letters. What street start with C? Cherry Street starts with C. You yeah. said it not. Not that. You said it don't start. Oh, don't start with a C, yeah. You're right. <laughs> what difference is it making you? <laughs> I couldn't think any streets in London that started with a C. There's some. Uh, Chandler. Chandler. There's, there's a few. 
And I don't know when it changed from being Water Street. To Quarterback being pass. Now. He rolled back and hit him uh -oh, part right uh -oh, on the run. Uh -oh, uh -oh. This has just turned this into a runaway. Getting ugly, isn't it? Real ugly. 41 to nothing. <laughs> 41 to seven. He just fumbled. He's he already just, in. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a, a hint of the, the, what's it start with? Do we have to show the rest of this? <laughs> the street, starts its now. name now it starts with M. Madison Road. Yep, Madison Road. Used to be called that's, Water Street. That's not a street, that's a road. I said a See, street See, you messed us road. up. No, you didn't. Uh, it was called Water Street. Madison Road. Oh. Yeah. I don't know yeah. why it became Madison Road. That's because it, that creek and stuff, that water used to come right down over all that street. That, that used to be like a flood plain. Makes sense check to with, me. Check with Red Lucifer. He, he, Lucifer. I can hear that name when um, Darby used to pronou pronounce the players. Yeah. Lucifer. We had a Lucifer played then, and I can remember he, hear him saying that. Lucifer. Old Red, the man, the co he's the coffee man. He just called something on a decline, so we'll try it again. The Buckeyes will be playing here. They're number one. They'll be playing here? Mm-hmm. You didn't know that? They, they were. Field? They, they, had, they had a practice over at Baxley Field last week. That was a Capitol. Capitol Field, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that no good? No, they were no at Baxley, too. I'm pretty sure they they were they had did something over at Bexley. Seven to forty-one. Let me check that out. Gary's trying to check stats here. He's wrong. I'm right. He just needs to pay attention to me more often. Yeah, you better go over and check it out because he'll come back and say he's right. <laughs> the guy did tell me that somebody burned a hole in that new turf over there at Bexley. Really? Yeah, it cost him $90,000 to fix the field. Just to fix the field. The field is small. Wow. Okay, let's see what now. Bex has got the wind to their back. I don't know. I mean, of course, they did kick deep to Redmond the one time. And, okay, Gary, in his loudest voice, is going to admit that I was right. Come on, Gary. They did practice it at Bexley. I told you. Dude. In Bexley at Capital University. At Bexley. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said, at Bexley. Here comes that pooch again. Get it, Edley. Is it Edley this time? Well, that's, that's a bad position, but he's going to take a beating on that little mm -hmm. onside kick. Keith. Oh, it was long again. I keep getting them mixed up with Edley for some reason. See, now last that? week that was me, now it's you. What side of your brain's not working? <laughs> oh. 41 to 7. As you folks can probably tell, that we have a lot of fun up here. Win or lose, we're here just to enjoy the ball game. But we would like to see London win. I'm going to put out a prophecy for next year. London's going to be hard to handle. You get a year experience under these young boys' belt. Look out. Still got Beaver in there at quarterback. Come on, come on, come on. Is that Redmond again? Yeah, Redmond got him about five yards right there. Redmond's a workhorse. He's going to... Who want to be the leading rusher in this? One of the leading rushers in the in the league. Of course, this is not a league game. I'm down for almost almost 90 yards at 89 yards so far. Which doesn't mean anything. You're gonna win the ball game. But. Those yards are coming hard now too. They were coming pretty easy there in the first half. Yeah. Jeez, he fooled me. That's some pretty good. Did they fool the cameraman? No. Pretty good fake in there. Handoff was Redmond. He picked up maybe two. Ball uh, third on the third the ball on the 50. Third and two. Yeah, Marcus Ooh. really had to fight for his yards tonight. Yeah, that this, second this second half kind of quieted us. Uh, 
people up here talking to him. Yep. In both booths. Mmm, that was a intentional grounding there. We'll bring up fourth and four for the Red Raiders from the uh, right at the fifth, right at the 49 yard line. Fourth is going to call punt. Nope, he's signaling that a play. I wouldn't, I, go so I wouldn't punt. Fourth and four from about the They've 50. been running touchdowns from anywhere on the field, so we might as well take the chance to try to keep the ball. Cut down on their yard. Mm -hmm. have two receivers at the bottom of your screen. Corners are soft. The pitch to Redmond. Trouble. One man to beat. He's got trouble. He's going to be close. He's going to be first close. Depending on the uh, spot. I'd say he's got it. He's going to be pretty close. Get a good spot. We'll be all right. I think he did. He didn't get a very good spot. Uh, oh, he man. set it back. Whoa, that wasn't very good. Looks like he moved the ball back. He said, whoop. Calling the chains. I don't think he made it. You better view here from the next window, probably. From the window. It looked like they set the ball backwards. Yep. Yeah. Dirty dogs. You seem to think I should have brought my coat, Gary. Maybe he's, I told you. <laughs> I'm here. Sure here, Keith. That's okay. But you can't have it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he made it. He made it. Woo! So the Man. spot was okay with the bad spot, and we still. Yeah. Redman don't care. Give me a bad spot. I'll still make it. Good right. job, Marcus. You know what happens to the London Red Raiders fans without their shirts? I they seem to that. disappear pretty quick tonight. Oh, I've seen them out there in way colder weather than this. Well, not that group. Not this group. Yeah. This group showed up and put their shirts on within a few minutes. Oh, man, he was caught in the backfield. That's about a three-yard loss there. Is that yeah. Redmond that had that? Uh, 47. They piled that Bobo. Up. Bobo. Caught in the backfield. He's been having, I don't know why, but it seems like most of his runs has been, Actually, tonight he's I have, been caught in the backfield. That Bobo down for him. Four out of his eight carries have gone for negative or zero. Yeah, yards. that's what I was just saying. He's been caught in. Redmond, keep going. Man, I see. Get, get about six yards right there and put the Red Raiders in a uh, third and six situation. Third and seven. Remind you folks, uh, we go to Northeastern next week. Good pitch for Redmond. He gets his handle on it. Hey, he's going to go for a first down. And he's still going. He nice. had to get through there. Nice. Looked like he was stopped back here, didn't it? Put his head down. Yes, with just about 35 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Red Raiders didn't beat 41 to 7, but at least they're not quitting. As of right now, we got us a little tailback in the making. I know his grandpa proud of him. They're about the same size, even now. They're about the same size. Corey Beaver still in there at quarterback. Looks like a lot of the starters remain. This is this Buffalo package in there with Sean Kelly leading the blocking. Man. Is that Redmond again? Yep. I've got about seven yards on that carry. I'm running out of rooms on my paper here. I liked what I seen there in the, on the end of that carry. He didn't, wasn't fighting and wrestling to get him off of him. He was more or less laying there like Jim Brown used to do. Wait till weight gets off and then get up. So we're going to end this quarter with a score of 41-7. to And uh, it's been big, big plays for uh, Bexley. It hasn't been anything like they've been grinding out anything. It's just making big plays and go for long distance. Well, on the positive there, like I said, Marcus Redmond, I have down for nine carries for 49 yards in the uh, – Third quarter, that brings him up to, uh, like I said, he's just taking a lot of carries. I mean, that's his 27th carry of the night, you know, and, and he's, you know, give him almost 
130, 120, 130 yards rushing. But, uh, you take a good tailback, go. he's going to get a lot of carries. You, that's your go-to man. You got to give it. You got to give him the ball. There's no, no getting around it. So we're looking at a score. Like I said, 41 to seven. It's kind of ugly. Can't hear the band. They're right close by here, probably. That's their band playing. Well, it is their band. My goodness. <laughs> oh, they're loud. They were they were pretty loud at, at uh, halftime. I didn't think our our band played very loud. God just showed me from Baxter Humphreys has 177 yards. That little number white, number 11 white, he has 137 yards. So Bexley's well on their way to almost 400 yards rushing for tonight's contest. Between three or four of them. Go, Corey. Go, baby. Go. Touchdown, London. Well, that was close. Was you? Did you have a close-up on him, Carl? Yeah. How close was he to going out of bounds there a couple of times? Yeah, he was. Well, he was. He's broken off some nice runs tonight. Yeah. Corey Beavers. Well, that's another positive. You don't count 41 his sacks. 13. You don't count his sacks tonight. He's had 50 yards rushing at least for the rest of the game. Well, that's uh, right to the uh, running back sure drew him in. Yeah. He bounced outside. They're probably keen on Redman about now anyway. Cause Corey Beaver to hold. Sean Kelly to attempt the extra point. And we got a timeout, London. Beaver's can run the ball now. So where did we start out on this drive? Do you remember? Uh, don't fight with me. Oh, I know where we started out, about the 42, because they pooch kicked off to yeah. uh, Long out there that caught the... No, Long. <laughs> Got it right, second time around. Forty-one thirteen. Give us something to cheer about. Well, you're looking at just about looking at this, the the um, what, what could have been the Saturday morning team going against the Spectre team. A lot of sophomores and juniors. I figured out who our long snapper is. I'm trying to catch him. He does a good job. I know yeah, that. That ball gets back there nice. Good. Makes the score 14 to 41. London's got, got uh, two touchdowns tonight. So we're, we've shown that we can score. Now we're going to have to stop somebody. I think it is 38. Miles Copley with the long snaps there. He, he centered, he gets that ball. It's there, in. There, both times, and it's perfect. Now, Red Raiders, it's the end of the quarter. They get to kick off with the win now. Let's see what they do. To set 14. Carl's up here dancing. Don't turn around and look at him. He's, he's doing an electric slide. Yeah. Stay warm. I think that's what they're doing down there now. The, the cheerleaders doing an electric slide. Yeah, hey, you know, not getting the cheerleaders no time tonight. They're out there dancing in this cold. They're trying to keep warm. Keep an eye on the Red Raiders here. Let's see what they do. On sides? I blew five. I was a cheerleader. I'd be calling for the tights. Something that won't keep warm in. Dexley's got it. That last on sides, if they'd kept some people on their feet, they'd have got it. Mm -hmm. Got 11 minutes. Right. fell down. Man! And he didn't kick it 10 yards, but doesn't matter. Bexley's got it anyway. It was picked up before it went 10. Yep. Sometimes you gamble and it don't work. 
Yeah, and it's every time it's giving them super field position, but they don't need super field position where they've been running. He's doing a good job on that uh, on that kick here, though. They need to get some guys out in front to knock them out of the way. Yeah. They go up there and hit them. Once he kicks them, kick the ball, they can run in front of them. Yeah, but the ball is moving too quick. It's going man. right straight ahead. Look for your Madison Press press release. Carl King named special teams coordinator for London Red Raiders. <laughs> here we go. Reinhardt's made some good runs tonight, too. Yes. Let's see what the call is. We're chatting about it. Come on, what are they holding for? Starting on the 50, so the penalty really is from the 50 down. Actually, oh, is that the 12th man down here? Who that is? That's somebody up leading the band in cheers. Oh, okay. He done it last week, too. Try to go inside, he spins he it outside. Bounces it to the outside, and he's got some running room. First down and more. It's Khalid Reinhardt again. He Mr. Got Reinhardt. First down. Keep those feet moving. It'll work for you. That's something you can tell those little kids in your little, little league, Pee Wee League. Keep running. Keep them big legs moving. Number six. Who's number six? Number Coming six. Ball game. Isaac Mason into the game for London. Cheering section. Mm. Actually, Isaac's a freshman, so that's kind of interesting to see that. I would imagine Bexter's got some of their Saturday morning players playing right now too. They have no reason to play their first team now. Kind of makes me proud to see Isaac out there. When he was a sixth grader, I got the opportunity to coach him. In the Pee Wee League. Hey, well, keep your eye on him, Carl. <laughs> see if the kid knows if he's supposed, what he's doing out there. We got him one play. Yep. For you? He got him one play when you was coaching him? Is that what you no. say? Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. That's kind of a oops. Number 74. We know who that is, but we won't say. Yes, we will. <laughs> Mr. Sexton, Caleb Sexton. He was... He's going to get a little pine time. Yep. He, uh, yeah. We're going to send in Miles Copley, looks like, to replace him. get his brakes checked. He couldn't stop him. Couldn't stop. Miles size it. <laughs> Ooh, almost got him in the backfield. That looked like... He had a hold of him. Who was that? Levi... 38. Copley? That was Copley almost had him there. Copley went, broke through there and made the He hung on to him. Yeah, he made yeah. the initial tackle in him, initial stop. And we got 10-31 left in the fourth First quarter. Down. First and 10 on the 25-yard line. 41-14. to 14. The scores are, numbers are just reversed out there, Carl. 1-4-4-1. Yeah, Ball. He fell off the wrong foot too. Almost went straight up in the air. Tell you what, Karsten, I'm, you know, he's he's a decent passer. I mean, he had a lot of air into that ball. Yeah. Of course, I think when you got a former three-year starter at Ohio State as your quarterback's coach, that probably helps you get a little that bit better. would make think. a difference, I would imagine. Yeah. 
Red Raiders got to get a stop here. Second and ten. This Khalid again. And oh, he, he got around that fast. corner. Oh, we got a penalty against. Yeah. That's against Bexley. Most Probably likely blocking the back. There. Oh, he went right around. Holding the... Bexley. He smoked right around Cal Long. Yeah, along the ground that corner. Okay. Mm, them guys can get it. Uh oh, we got the, the cheerleaders doing the tomahawk and they're just circling. Oh, Carl's going to give them some circling pop, the wagon. Circle those wagons, kids. I think that'd make me dizzy. Make you dizzy. <laughs> Sing the song, you got me dizzy, Miss Lizzie. Little Richard. Well, that said back, replay the down. Looks like Bexley's going to Well, I'll tell you what, folks, if this filming is coming out anything like it we're seeing on this monitor, you guys got a treat. Uh, a little misdirection. Ooh, nice tackle there. Somebody really Off got the tackle. We got another flag. That's Copley again. Yep. 38. Penalty. Got another flag. Well, I think if that's against Bexley, just decline it. I mean, I think you got him pushed back far enough, but <laughs> take the down. <laughs> no, I mean, he only got two or three yards. And if they take the penalty, you got to push it back and get the replay of the down. Uh oh. Replay the down. Second down. Re Replay the down. And we're down to 951. 951. Remaining in this contest. 951. 951. I don't know how to do that. That calls you cold. Been cold. Yeah. Well, no, Bexley, they've really shown they can, I mean, they got away from the past once they got the lead. Now they're just into ball control and doing a good job of it. Taking time off the clock and making first downs. Well, I'm not so sure you've got too many of your first, uh, first teamers in there right now either. For Bexley? Yeah. Why would you have? Well, got, I think they only dressed 34 players tonight, so they don't have too many second teamers probably. Get him. Ooh, nice break up there by Kyle Long. Let's see, let's see number 50 out there this week, Jacob McDaniels. He missed the week for week one. It's good to see him back for the Red Raiders. Another, I believe he's a sophomore. And we got a fourth and 17. Ball's on the 31 yard line. 9.09 left to go. Fourth and about 18. Oh, Karsten back to White. Looks like White's going to try to run. He's fast. And he's run down by... Like a that? nice run down there by 43. 43. Peterson, I think. Peterman. Peterman. Mike Peterman. I've right. seen London's put in some fresh faces out up, there. Fired up. Yeah. So London's going to take over. First and 10 on the 31-yard line. Here we got Redmond's on the loose. Does he have the legs? <laughs> and I tell you what, there's so much difference in the speed there. Pratt just reached out and grabbed him like his 
he was gaining so fast on him that he just reached out and grabbed him. But right at a 30-yard rush there for Marcus. Good run by, by Redmond. I don't think he's any match for Pratt on, on speed there. All starters in there still for London, looks like. Beaver's got a little bit of time. He's thrown out here for long. Send two receivers. Long in at the uh, had a miss, fumble. Little miss key right there. Oh, and the under come. Who's that running? Uh, that, was, that was slick. Who was it? Who was that? Aaron May running the football. Aaron May. As a Red Raider. Yeah, baby. You go, Aaron. I'm talking. Bye. Uh, uh, wait till next time I see Aaron. I'm sure I'll hear all about that. Yeah. Man, that was his debut, man. We'll give him four yards on the carry there. Put him in the book. Aaron Mave gets in, in the rushing category from his lineman position. Beaver going to sneak Quarterback sneaky. First down. That's a big thing. Move the chains right there. It's a good sign. London hadn't given up. They're still trying to make something happen here. Wind in the clock here. Down to just about eight minutes to go here in the ball game. 41 Bexley, 14 London. And all went quiet in the booth. Hand off to Redmond and he stopped in the backfield. Uh, with a gaggle. Four there. Four white shirts had him. Somebody's not getting up too quick for Bexley. Yeah. Number seven. J.D. Ramage. He's up, he's down, he's up, he's down. And they're calling the people on the field to check him out. We'll check you out with a score of 41 to 14, 735 left in the contest. Uh, Mind Red Raider fans come back here and I think it's three uh, three weeks three before we weeks get a game. Right? Yeah. We'll get a game back here. At home against Clinton Massey. They're fairly new to the league. They're probably picked to win the SCOL this year. So it's going to be a real tough ball game. Fairly new to it. What league? Well, they were in last year. They were in last year. That's the uh, September 29th game. So last Friday night in September. Remember August, September. Yeah, September. Come out the last Friday night in September to watch London. And dress warm. Yeah, might be cool. Maybe. Never know. Probably the Buckeyes play. Three o'clock. Three State third. game. Three o'clock. So if you're watching this game. Flip over to High State because they're rated number one. Might give you something to go on. Be great. Yeah. Finally got him up. Is he up okay? Yeah, he's standing. Standing. That's good. Looks like London's come through this fairly healthy tonight. I mean, Rogers, the center, got hurt a little bit during the first half, but he's back in there playing. That's all good. And London will come up with on the 32-yard line, second and 15. After that loss of yardage that time. Redmond, and he's going to pick up another pick up seven or eight yards. Seven Not closer, quite. Closer to nine, but he's going to get him back. Almost to the line of scrimmage. Red Raiders are going to back The original to line. Yeah. 
We're going to set the ball ready to play. Looks like it's going to be third and six third for the and Red six. Raiders. So he picked up, what, 11 yards? Nine yards. I put him down for eight. To be nine, okay, we're doing nine. Beaver back to pass. There's it out. For Reggie. Turned him clear around. One for Reggie Wilson out there. Incomplete. Actually, fourth and six. Too deep for the muscle package. That's what I was taught. Well, that's what we called it, but I seen him go to, he pointed to the muscle on his arm when he yeah, called him in. Bicep package, kind of. He's pointing at his bicep. Bicep package. Well, he wasn't pointing at his tricep. He's pointing at his muscle on his arm. It's a bicep. <laughs> yeah, but you don't call it bicep. The gun package. How about that? Uh, those guns. Okay, let's run the, run the bicep. <laughs> run the bicep. <laughs> oh man. We'll have to find out what's the real. Let's go back. Let's go back to Buffalo. I like that better. Yeah. Lean, 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 oh. lean, lean. No, no, no. This is a better one. I like this one. This this one. Yeah, one of them starts and then she spreads it to the next one. Then. And then she spreads it to the other two, and see? The cheerleader lane. See? You sure you seem to know a lot about these cheers, Keith. Was you a cheerleader? I didn't know. <laughs> you, you watch them an awful lot, though, don't you? Yeah. I saw it last week. They didn't start in the center, and they ended up getting to one end of the line before they got to the other end of the line. You know, Gary, on his shirt, her, her memory. <laughs> Well, you know the lean's better than that one. <laughs> that was cute. To be young again. Yeah. Red Raiders gonna make a play for London. Bexley even gets out there. What's and his whistles are blowing. <laughs> oh, what the heck? They weren't even on the field. <laughs> what? Is that a delay of game signal? For London? <laughs> Delay game and they—they they were, oh, they, they, they were they were on the field. They just went over here. Well, they should have just went ahead and snapped it. I guess. And while he's being so polite. That's a kind of a shaky call. I didn't hear a whistle for him to start the game, or see a motion for that. Shot the Redmond, he Redmond. yanked all over the place. That's not going to be enough. He's going to turn the ball over to Bexley on down. With 6.45 to go in this contest. 14 to 41. It's a bug. <laughs> he's thirsty too. Get off her. He got drink. Oh, now he's on the chicken sandwich, he Jerry. Food. He's <laughs> on the chicken sandwich now. Let Get him, him off her. Let him eat. He don't want to die. That's that one that almost made me fall. Oh. I'm trying to get him off the wall. Oh. That bug is after me. <laughs> now I'll have bug juice in my, in my water and bug juice in my, in my sandwich. Okay, ball set for play. Let's see if we got to catch some numbers on the Red Raiders. There's our band. Yeah. Hey, I haven't still. heard them hardly all night. First team on defense out there, except Corey Beaver's in there now, deep safety. Well, all right, he snatched him down. He tried to go straight on him. He got mm -hmm. drug down. And while we're doing, speaking of drug down, I want to call, call out the uh, 
Boosters Club and thank them very much. They sent sandwiches up at halftime and water up at the beginning of the game. So Boosters Club, thank you very much. We're not able to get out of here and get down there because, you know, we do the whole contest, the band and the football game. So we appreciate you looking out for us. Twenty-four. Freed out there on the tackle. Freed, and let's see who the other one was. And Reinhardt, the ball carrier. I've heard his name earlier, so he's not a... Yep, that's Redmond on the tackle. He's one of the first teamers. Okay, out there now for Red Raiders, number 24, Jacob Eldridge getting a little bit of playing time. Redmond, Redmond comes off, or no, that's uh, Long coming off. 84, thought that was 34. I can't believe Redmond's still out there playing football. He uh, see Mason's still playing, still in the game. Ooh, awesome doing that. ooh! He was yanked around like a rag doll that time. Yeah, five minutes. Keep it on the ground. <laughs> Under five minutes to go in the contest here. I'm not saying it's hard to believe Ed, or Redmond's still out there. He's He's carried the ball 32 times tonight. He just not come out. Over How old 65 is he? yards. He's sophomore. He just he was on defense. He just came out of the game. He ain't, he's not your age, T. He can do that kind of he stuff. He can do that. Let's see, we had McDaniels just check out. Bobo checked out. Let's see Copley back in there. Let's see if we can get some other numbers. Got a 48 out there. Let's see uh, 24 in there. He's 48. Mark Aliff in there. 43 Peterman in there. We got a 70 in there. Got a timeout, Bexley. 70. That's Scott Henry in the ball game. 19. Corey. Now he's taking out a lot of them subs. Now he's putting all first team defense back in there again. Because fourth and five for Bexley. Yep, it's cold up here. Mm. It's gonna be like in three weeks. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna pack my heater up. Okay. Get someone else to carry it. Fourth and five. Bex is gonna punt into the wind. Let's see if Linda maybe try to pull on a block team or something. Let's see if Redmond can get a good rush from this bottom side of your screen right here. Not good enough. Low kick, going back for it's going out of bounds. It's going out of bounds. About the 22 yard line. Here we go again. He's got to line himself up and then walk back. He can't just walk to where the ball went out of bounds at. It's all in protocol. It's all following the protocol. What a show, what a show. Forty-one fourteen. Looks like Wolverton's going to check in and run the offense. Got a few fresh jerseys in there. I see a number 60 going in there. Oh, John Rogers. He's been at center all night. I'm sorry. That's Redmond again. He's on the loose all the way up to the 45 yard line before he's run out of bounds. Young man, don't act like he ever gets tired. Wow. He's a gamer, buddy. Oh, he went far further than that. 40. They got him spotted on the 43. Got him dark down now for 33 rushes for 195 yards. 195 yards? Yep. Oh! They pointed him out real quick too, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. Pointed right at it. You know, you have a big night getting four yards rushing the ball in your debut running the football. Then you jump off sides. You know, I really have, London really has not done, had a lot of penalties. I mean, they've been very disciplined as far as I'm concerned. For a young football team. Got to shore that defense up a little more. 
Oh yeah, definitely. And that's going to come with age. Grab him once again. Wow. And he's all the way up to about the 35, just right at the 35 yard line. He's hard to tackle, isn't he? He's, a, he's the elusive little runner. Eight tackles. Runs hard. about 12 yards on that there. They're easily going to put him over 200 for the night. It's all not all about individual stats. It's about a whole team blocking and doing all the right things. Oh, fumble. Yeah. Get it, Corey. It looks like he's on it. Fumble at the snap. Was that Wolverton in there running the offense? I think Wolverton. It was Wolverton in there. Mm. Hey, it's filthy. Just two minutes, 25 seconds to go here in the ball game. I'm trying to put together a final scoring drive of the night. Redmond again, oh. he won't go down. <laughs> the important thing is he picked up a first down, moved the chains for the Red Raiders. He's running with his head in the ground like he's burrowing his head into the ground. His feet were still going. Dang. What part of your body what part of your body has to be down before you're ruled down? There he takes out Redmond, puts in uh who does he put in? He had a good night. Eldridge or Eldridge in there? 24. Yeah, now that boy can got some wheels too. I don't know if he can play football, but I know he's got ooh, he just took a hit. He's only about he's only about five foot two. Let me see if he get the size on Eldridge. He got him five nine. Yeah, you always lie a little bit on there. Look at that. The kid weighs 150, you list him at 160. That's what they got him at. Somebody went down on the Eldridge hit. Yeah, they put a lick on it uh -huh. and he didn't get up. We're down to 141, and somebody had to stop the clock. Come on. Mm-hmm. So it used to be last season we we'd had to like change tapes during times like this. And now with the new equipment, uh, you know, we're still on a three-hour tape. we still got, what, another... Uh, Another 25, 25 minutes, minutes to go, yeah. which means we're going to get home at, what, 11 o'clock? I'm mad at that. Jeez. Mm. Yeah, we'll see this now. This player for Bexley's up and running off. Not running, but... Not carrying him all. Wow. Yeah, he's dragging, dragging one leg. He's yep. got a little hurt problem there. 141 left. 141. All the everything on the boards. 141. 14 to 41. 14 to 41. And second down four. Mm hmm. Wolverton under center. Oh, and we got a he's throwing it right out of London lineman. And that's the call. 68. Well, Sam shaking his head saying, that was me. Who was that? Sam White. That's yeah. I've got a different quarterback in there. What's his name, Keith? Is Wolverton? Okay, I don't have a seven. Oh, What's Wolverton's number? Wolverton 17. So. Justin Wolverton. Now what do we got here? And we're down to 118 and the clock has stopped total again. Saturday morning offense checking into the ball game. Let's see if we can get some of these. 77 Ben Morgan out there. 14 uh, Jordan Hawkins. Uh, well, I can't sell all of them out Thank there. You. It's like a 42, Austin Bauer. Got a 45, Justin Damon. Sweep to the right side of the line. 24. 
Got a six. Jacob Eldridge, was your ball carrier? Got a 63 out there, Eric Downing. Mason, Isaac Mason running the offense. Number nine, Ryan Gillespie. Yeah. Less than a minute. 14. Jordan Hawkins, we said that. With 72 out there, DJ Newman. 64 out there. That's uh Oh, quarterback's running loose. Chris Sexton. And he's gonna be brought down. Isaac Mason, he put on a little like a little excitement there. <laughs> like uh 78, JJ Hickman out there. JJ's in the game? Are you kidding me? 295 pounds. JJ Hickman. Everybody, yeah. Oh, now we got a few now, more players checking in. Oh my 81. goodness, we got number 13, Brian Biggum. Grant Pullen. His coach was getting everybody 70, shot. 70, Scott Henry. 79. Oh, that's second team defense went in there. That's who it was. We changed possession. We weren't paying attention, Gary. And they didn't wait for us to, to get defense on the field. They went in to run a play. Yep. Watch them in college anymore. They don't wait. David Zolman out there, number 58 for the Red Raiders. We're just 31 about in. Out, 31 out there, Adam Eads. 20 seconds. About ready to run this game off. Last right. play. Pass it. Uh oh, get No, it's supposed to be the last play. Can't yeah, go for gonna be the last, last play. Last play goes for a touchdown. You. Are you kidding me? Where's the flag? Where's the flag? Oh, my goodness. Somebody just throw a flag just for fun. 40. There is a flag on the field. Way, way, way back here at the line of scrimmage. Uh, we had a flag Carl, on the you want to zoom in on that flag right over here? Ah. So if that's against the offense, a block in the back against Bexley. So they have to replay the down, looks like. Unless London declines and gives them a touchdown. I don't think they're going to want to do that. Oh, boy, and the Red Raider fans are heading for the I think that flag came from the, came from the sideline. Yeah, sometimes that's a good trick to try. <laughs> you can't bring a flag with you. Just throw it out. Throw an extra one out there and yeah. see what else. Officials up. Well, I, I, that's not my play. Yeah, I saw the two officials going down the field, and they were kind of talking and pointing back at the spot of the foul. And I was looking for a flag. Yeah, that's what it was. So it's not going to be more than 41-14. Woo! It'll be second down. Of course, we're assuming now that Bexley's not going to be able to score on this play. We'll see. Yeah, I would think now Bexley would take a knee, I would think. Wouldn't you think? Oh, why? Why? Yeah, that's just the second teamers in there. They yeah, want right? to yes. score. Yeah. Well, that one fellow's going to be way too tired to run the ball. So we're going to put somebody else in there to run. At that well, age, they're play. never tired. They're going to run a play. It's going to be a pitch going to the right-hand side. That's the same guy, 28. Uh oh pick it up, baby! Pick it up! And run! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the and that is no the contest. That. We have a score of 41 to 14. Bexley comes out on top. I'll tell you what, the, the real story tonight, I mean, yeah, London got beat again, but I think we looked real good in the first half. I think we had some more positive things happen. I saw a more diverse offense tonight. You know, a big story offensively. Marcus Redman going 35 carries for probably 215 yards, what I had him down for. They probably have him down for a few more in paper. Um, you know, except for a few breakdowns on defense at the beginning of the second half, you know, London was really in this football game, and, and I, I see a lot of positives coming. Oh, oh no, I think they really uh, they have improved from last week. Oh, definitely. And as long as they keep improving, what can we say? Like I say, they're all young. But this game is over, 41 to 14. This is Gary McNeil. And this is Keith Smith, Earl King. Saying, see ya, I wouldn't want to be ya. Adios. Good night. Arrivederci. Ta-ta.